So look what we have here. That's right. It's a sloth. Would you believe we have had an update? Oh my god, this is so weird. I'm so not used to having different headphones. So just as a FYI, not that you really care, um, my other headphones, as you can see, completely broke. Completely. Well, I mean, it's, it's hanging on by the cable that keeps the bloody um, speaker working. You need cement to keep that still. Maybe I'll buy some. But today, we're here in Jurassic World Alive because... Wait, is it Pyraptor today? I thought it was supposed to be uh, Mortem Rex. Well, well, there you go. We have a new Pyraptor boss. So I think now every day of every week, there's going to be a raid battle. At least that's what it looked like in the update. So we've got new dinosaurs, new creatures, um, new, new raids, as well as uh, big changes to... Um, what, what should we call it? Uh, big changes. Yes, that's right, Mike. You can get the picture. There you go. Uh, we've got big changes uh, to some dinosaurs. Some not so welcome. Uh, I don't... Well, basically, what we're going to talk about is the two. The two main big changes that have came to Jurassic World Alive. Changing the meta uh, quite a lot, would you believe? Uh, also, that's still way too loud. Jesus. But first, how about we have a look at the good things that is... the. <laughs> Never mind, let's let's just go through the bad, shall we? One of the two dinosaurs that has been changed is unfortunately uh Ardentus Maxima. Ardentus Maxima has been completely nerfed. And not only has it lost um its health, it's also lost some attack, and it's gained one speed. Don't know why, but the biggest the biggest change to our Dennis Maxima is that it has lost, I think it lost its attack, I think it did. Um, just some, I'm not too sure how much. It lost its armor. <laughs> this is not too long after we've had a, a you know, a refund on the, on the stat boosts. And unfortunately, mine is boosted 30 out of 30. And Ludia, after refunding everybody, their boosts, decides you know what we're gonna do? You know our Dennis Maxima is like, you know, every team had an Dennis Maxima. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make sure that everybody's wasted their boosts again. How does that sound? Oh God. Now, a lot of people are outraged about this. And I, I am one too. I have spent, I'm on tier 11 for attack and tier 19. I have spent 1,900 freaking health boosts on our dentist maxima and now instead of having 10,000 and odd health it's now got 9,600 not only that it's lost its armor it's also lost some of its attack i'm pretty sure it might have gained a little bit or its attack really hasn't changed too much its health has and the big thing is its armor has gone feel yeah sorry i have <laughs> so much to talk about i uh, it, this is ridiculous I, what I thought they should have done is they're going to make changes to a dinosaur. They're going to nerf the, any of them, especially some of the big players. They should refund all of the resources or so, all the mods or boosts, whatever you want to call it, on that specific dinosaur. I don't think I'm wrong in thinking that, right? They should do that. That's just bad. A lot of people have spent money. They've spent money or they've, you know, they've spent their books because you can remember. I think, can you still do it? Uh, wait, what? They've taken, they've taken boosts out the marketplace? Really? Oh, or is this just like a, for one day, this is what you can get. So they'll probably come in. Huh. Have they actually taken boosts out the marketplace? Too little, too late, I think. But hey, at least it's something, I suppose. Okay, so you can no longer get boosts. Right, well, I got 14,000 books, so I'm just gonna speed up my incubators, I guess. That's how I'm gonna get the books. And I didn't, I mean, if I was gonna get the books, I'd do it that way. Either way, they nerfed a dinosaur that a lot of people had in the game. And a lot of people had spent either real money or had spent their books on it. Um, and they changed it, meaning that if they, if people knew it was going to get a nerf or they knew it was going to get a boost, whatever, they might not have put those boosts on. And now, if you want to change your boosts onto something else, um, 
you're gonna have to get half back. You're gonna lose half, basically. Um, I re- this is really bad. Ludia should not have done this. This is- Ah, uh, after all the after all the stuff that they go through and all the bad, you know, press that they get from, you know, the money hungriness and the, you know, the putting boosts in so you have to pay for them and all this jazz. Now they go and do stuff like this, one of the most used dinosaurs in the meta, and you go and change it and just after people have got a refund, which basically means that they're probably not going to refund you at all. Um, and just to smooth it over, when, when you first log in after this update, you get like a thousand bucks or something like that, and a hundred thousand coin. And I think that's just all to lessen the blow of you losing your stats, I think. I want Ludia to come out and say, look, we made a mistake. We're going to refund the Ardennes. Every Ardennes Maxima will get their refund. The thing is though, Every update, or almost every update, Ludia change every dinosaur in the game. Every dinosaur gets like buffed, nerfed, gets some stats tweaking. So if they did it for Adenis Maxima, they're gonna have to do it. Sorry, hey, my head's getting to that point where it's really long. If they did it for Adenis Maxima, they refunded the boosts. They're gonna have to refund boosts for everything, right? Because everything's changing. There might be some guy out there who uses Iguanodon level 30 for whatever reason, but that gets its stats changed and gets different moves put on it and things like that. Does that mean that he also needs or she or she needs their boosts refunded? It's ridiculous. It's like, ah, oh, boosts, man. They just made this whole thing an absolute headache. But that's not only the only dinosaur that's been changed. No, you had honestly, not only the worst offender here is that Adenis Maxima has had its picture changed. I think. I think it's had its picture changed. It does not look as good as it used to. He looks so lonely in the frame. He looks like he's barely taking up any of it. And I think Trico, has Trichosaurus had it flipped? So he's the other way around. Anyway, leading on to the next dinosaur that's had a big change in this game is Trico. Now Trico has had a little bit of boof, a bit of boof, he's had a boof, a uh, boost to attack. Necessary, okay. Uh, I think health might have stayed the same and the speed probably as well. But the biggest change here is that now he does no longer, he or she no longer gives the slowing counter. So now it's just a medium counter, which I think is half the attack, half the attack of regular. I think about that was normal, but it slowed down whatever it was facing, which meant that, you know, you could, as long as your opponent could be slowed down, you could switch it in, get the counter off as it gets hit, and then you could do something big. It kind of, you know, it freed up a little bit of mobility for a creature that definitely isn't going to outspeed anything. Uh, that's gone. Now, I don't mind that too much because it did get a buff to the attack. I'm okay with that, would you believe? It's just a bit of a shame that this has happened and as well as on S Maxima, a lot of people are feeling the sting, especially with Trichosaur and on Ar Dennis Maxima being the most played creatures. I think we're definitely in the top 10 uh, creatures that everybody or at least the high players use, uh, which is such a shame. The new, uh, but that's it. That's the end of the bad stuff, really. Um, On to new and interesting things. We have a new creature classes. So this is, in a way, it's supposed to help players determine what kind of uh, creature is better against another creature. So we got Fierce and Resistant, which works well against Cunning and Resilient. Uh, so what's Cunning and Resilient? So that's something that's a yellow and a green. So you kind of have this thing that they first put into place when it came to uh, Jurassic World the game. This, you know, uh, carnivore beats herbivore, herbivore beats pterosaur, pterosaur beats amphibian, and amphibian beats carnivore. You got cunning beats fierce, fierce beats resilient, and it goes round, round, round. Um, now, whether or not that's true, so let's have a look at lineups. So, Trichosaurus would be a good counter against Urla Dominus, right? Maybe not so much anymore. And I guess that kind of makes sense because it is a cunning. Uh, and what is Cunning good against? Cunning is good against Fierce. So an Earl of Dominus would be good against something that's just Fierce. In this case, a Thordor. And for the most part, um, I don't agree with it too much. Because it depends. If Thordor outspeeds it somehow, let's say it doesn't. Um, Urlacosaurus is not going to kill it in one hit. Um, 
footprint. Like, I wouldn't have thought so, right? So, Thordor gets off its 3,099 attack, which for Urlacus or Urla Dominus uh, does almost all of its damage. If not a crit, it probably kills it. And then, Thordor is going to go for instant charge. I would assume that Urla Dominus goes for a cloak. So, you're looking... What they've tried to do is give you a system that works, but when you look into it a little bit much, it doesn't work for every matchup. Now, uh, it, it, it's just an outline, I would say. It's not bad that they've put this in, especially for beginners. I can't say that there's going to be a, a bad outcome for it. It's definitely not the flat advantage that you get with Jurassic World the game, which I think would have been helpful, but, you know, this is a different breed of game. I like that they've added this in. It doesn't really help me per se, uh, because I know what kind of works, and I've got, you know, a team and dinosaurs, you know, all that sort of thing. But for beginners who don't really know, at a first glance, they can look at a dinosaur and go, oh, it's a cunning, it's going to have something else. Now, there's also one in this that is a bit different. There is a wild card. Uh, this is a dinosaur that does not conform to fierce, cunning, or resilient. And this is basically just Ludia's way of saying... We didn't really know where to put it. So what they've done is they've just given a wild card. Very few creatures actually have this. So, Interrupted Gen 2, Cunning. Uh, Dracoceratops, Fierce. Uh, the Yoshi, Cunning. So, if I don't even know, can you categorize by Cunning? Classes. Oh, you can. Okay, so here we go. Not many. Tenoto Rex, because it has the ability to heal and do a lot of damage. Monostegatops, because it can switch in and do the damage. You've got... Purosaurus, which has the rending counter. Basically anything that can bleed, do a counter, and can kind of heal, or just have a lot of versatility, gets a wild card status. Now, on to the new things! Now, I have not made a video in a while. Mortem Rex is almost there. We have 235 out of 300. So, we could technically unlock it in two more, if not even one more, if we get a hundred or something ridiculous. So we're getting close. I like how he sort of holds himself different. That's interesting. But he's a fierce. Um, you've also got these new ones, which I didn't even check what they were. Ooh, Model Orion. That's interesting. So, new hybrids. This is a Pukai Day. Pukidi. Pukidi. Um, I can't remember what it's made of. I think this is the something eagle. And the the new, um, is it Deinonychus? Deinonychus. I think it is. Is it a Deinonychus? Is that what this is? Did they add Deinonychus? They Deinonychus, they did. Okay, so you got this thing. Uh, has 131 speed, super quick. Uh, it's immune to stun and a little bit 50% of distraction. Um, I mean, I don't know whether I'm going to use it. Maybe it is useful, but at the moment, especially with my boosts all being stuck up in, what do you call it, Ardentus Maxima, uh, there's nothing really I can do. The next one, now they gave you this for free uh, as part of the gift for, uh, you know, the update. Uh, the Ermatherium, one of the giant sloths. Um, this is a common, so I'm expecting to see this, you know, common, kind of around the area. Still waiting on a giant beaver though, but hey ho, maybe we'll get them. Um, so this guy has a new type. I've never seen that before. Uh, camouflage. So you get 75% chance to dodge 67% of damage for two turns. Lasting two turns. Increase your speed 30% for two turns. And target highest damage. You distract 50% uh, for two turns. Lasting one. Or two attacks or lasting one turn. It also has a maximal counter that could be very useful. Um... Wow, that's, uh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And a cunning rampage. Is it resistant to anything? It is on the map. Specific zones day. This is a new thing. They've added kind of more detail. So it used to be like, oh, it's on Mondays or it's on Tuesdays. And now it's like specific zones day. And it'll say like parks or your night or something like that. Much more useful. Uh, the next one that we've got unlocked is the Insotherium. I think everyone should be able, as soon as the update came out, everyone should have been able to get this guy. Uh, because it is two commons, I think so. It's the, and they were two of the new recent ones. Yeah, those guys, the Archotherium, I think it is, and God knows whatever. The other one is Cutting Strike, Mutual Fury, Group Distraction. That's pretty, that's really good. He's going to be good for uh, teams or something. And Parks during the day. Now, 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 on to a new hybrid. This thing. Um, <laughs> good lord. 
<laughs> um, that is one spiky turtle, and I've seen some people call it Bowser. I like that. We should you call it, but we got Yoshi and we got Bowser. We're just making a Mario Mario game. So now there's a chance we could unlock it if we got two hundreds and a fifty, and um, we've got six pops at it. Chances are we're probably only gonna get sixty, but. Hey ho, let's give it a shot. And by that I mean 10 every time. Well, already we're getting more than 60. Five more turns. Now we need to get 50 every time or else we're not unlocking it unless we get super lucky and we get 100. So there's still a chance we can unlock this. We need 100 though. Very, very, very unlikely. You know what? It's not too bad. We've got three more pops. We do. It's now it's looking impossible. Now the odds are not in our favor. Uh, now, yes, definitely not. So we have two more pops and we need 100 each time. This is the last one. If we don't get 100, we aren't unlocking it. Oh, look at 50 though. A little bit too late, but look at that. We're actually getting somewhere with this. Wow. Okay. And find another 50. Oh my god, we are close to unlocking that bad boy. Woo! So, Enlamoth, you need. Uh, it's Arcatherium DNA. I'm kind of lacking. So, hopefully, we can get lucky. Maybe get some big ones to you. But apparently not. Uh, we're also going to do the raid because I'm sure there's going to be people just wanting to try test out this new raid. Never seen the Pyro Uh Also, the. Oh, Pyrotate is the new uh, raid one. There is um, a new. Mortem or you know like a alpha or I don't know what you call them the new type like the boss things you can unlock and fight against Oh 50 fantastic just enough just enough um, and I think it is the Bioluminescent Parasaurolophus that's very interesting okay so we're gonna jump back in and do one final pump now There is a chance if we get a hundred or seventy or god knows nope there it is well we are pretty close to unlocking Bowser. It's just a shame that we haven't got the Arc Ethereum uh, or whatever that other one was. But we've got a two more pops for Mono Lorion. Um, oh, there's a 30. Right, if we get lucky, we get a 50 here. We've unlocked Mono Lorion, a wild card. Uh, will we do it though? Of course not. Of course not. Of course we don't do it. Of course we don't do it. Don't be silly. Well, we've got 40 left on that. And then these other creatures, I'm really not sure. Oh, a Sonosaurus. That looks like, yeah, that's just something you come across in the wild. Okay, I didn't even realize you could click on these. The other one being the Hadrosaur looks. Now, I this is the boss. This is the new boss that's going to be coming into the game. Uh, keep an eye on weekly Canada for DNA. Um, the cause of ghostly glow on Hadrosaur looks is unknown. The DPG has tracked the movements of this massive Hadrosaur and found that it does not graze while in the presence of others. Perhaps its elusive eating habits hold the secret to its spectacular luminosity. So I think it's very, it's like very dark blue, light blue kind of looking. It's definitely got the power on there. They've obviously went with the bioluminescentness from Camp Cretaceous that every other, you know, Minecraft Jurassic World has got the bioluminescent. Jurassic World, the game has the bioluminescent power. Um, it's interesting that they have this uh, model, but they didn't put it in, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Jurassic World, the game, I guess, because the power model in this is different. So they would have to import a whole entire model to do so. Now, also, on top of all this amazing news is a sneaky little present they put in, and that is Acrocanthosaurus. Now, I was sent this screenshot on Twitter, and it shows Acrocanthosaurus. Now, they have not, I mean, if you look at all these, Acrocanthosaurus is not part of these new creatures so it looks like it's going to be coming up in an event or just in the next update another little sneak peek for you guys thank you uh so let's have a look let's see what we got oh no never mind no we do have a mortem rex raid that's fantastic oh okay oh and another thing the supply drops have changed so if we click on this one the regular supply drop i think it gives you a little bit less in terms of toys and food which is interesting because you used to get a lot from this and then you would get a lot from the park or the green uh, supply drops. But now if you click on the green supply drop, you only get two of each, but you also get some boosts. Now, don't know why they've done this. Um, if they have taken boosts out of the market, maybe they've put it in this instead. Don't know, just another update. That's a weird team. That's so weird. Oh, my God, I've never seen a team do this before. Okay. Um, is this going to be a good idea? 
I guess we'll find out, won't we? Ooh. Okay, okay, this will be interesting. Oh, um, what should I go for? I mean, if I go for that, I'm gonna target our dentist. Um, if I go for the slowest, I do a little bit of damage to the raptor. Oh, our dentist Maxima, that's right. If they're both, they're both gonna go for slowing. So what I need to do uh, is go for that one, and then maybe the other Dilo Cheris can go for a heal. Or maybe, uh, I guess you could go for a heal. Oh, well, we're definitely gonna have to go for heals after this, because the two Ardentuses are, uh, oh god, oh god, it's attacking me. Oh no, oh lord, well, at least we're distracting the Mortem, so I should survive the next turn. However... The two minions are going to die, and then I'm assuming we're just going to heal each other? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, do another hit. Boss moves has disconnected. What? What? He's like... What? He's like the main dude. He's the one hosting it. Oh, no. Oh, my God, I'm dead. Okay, yep, I died. I'm dead. Oh, we can surrender. Oh, get in. I didn't realize it was a feature. Sweet. I love wasting my time. <laughs> Wait, I accidentally, I think I accidentally joined a different raid. Oops. <laughs> I have an Ardentus with more attack and more health if that's what you want. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the Ardentus Maxima roll. Now that he's been completely nerfed, and me as well, and then I can just kill the two, uh, <gasps> Yes! Oh my god! Yes! I love this team! This is my favorite team to play! Get in! Yes! Let's do it! I'm excited! We gotta win! Go on then! Go on then! So we're gonna have Turamala go first, give the uh, speed boost to our team. Uh, then Tristornix is gonna give crit chance and attack up, I think it is. And then... Uh, hopefully, yeah, and then the Tenado is gonna go for the, uh, the nerfing attack on the Mortem, and then I kill all of the minions. Oh, I love this. This is sweet. This is my favorite type of team build. I love this one. I don't mind the two Earl Dominuses, but, oh, this one's just so satisfying. Watch. Look at this. So, uh, increased attack, and this Tenado probably has a lot of attack anyway. Wow, sick! Almost 7,000 damage! And then I do this hit, and I probably got a, Oh, I don't have a crit chance, but they're both dead. Bam! Gone! And there's only Mortem left, and he's... His health is... It's all right, but considering only one hit on Mortem Rex at the moment, he doesn't... Oh, he does have a crit chance, but he didn't get it. Um, now we need the healing from the Tura Moloch, and then I can just go for a massive hit on Mortem, and everybody else can then also attack. So within one turn, we've killed the minions and done a decent amount of damage onto Mortem with one attack. One flipping attack. So now everybody uh, is going to... Now, I don't think it's enough. I will go for the big... Oh, that's right! Turamola can go for a heal, but also uh, Tenado can as well. So, oh, there's another 6,000. And then we're going to get a little hit. Oh, it's a crit as well. 3,000 damage. That's not too bad. That's not bad at all. So here comes the heal from the Tenado, which makes us all full health. Because remember now, heal is determined by the attack of a creature. Not by... Oh, and I got a crit. Oh, oh 6,900 damage. <laughs> oh, the crit onto me. Oh, now um, there's no like targeted heal, is there? Like a uh, superiority heal just for one dino. Uh, so I need a heal on me. Because um, there's no point in me shielding anything. So we need the Tura Moloch to go for the heal. There we go. Okay. So I don't know. We may have killed it. We may have killed it. Because Tura Moloch is going for his big hit. Um, as well as a hit coming from me. Uh, we know that he can... Well, how much is the Tenado? Sorry. I meant the Tenado. Uh, how much is the attack? So it's 5,000 plus the crit, 6,000. Unfortunately, we didn't kill it. I couldn't go for anything else there. Um, so it depends who's going to get the hit. Is it me? Oh, interesting. Oh, this could be a crit. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh that is lucky. That is lucky. So what's the next hit? Is it hitting everybody? It might be hitting everybody. Uh, I don't think that... Oh, there is a superiority heal. 
Ooh, it's looking a bit dicey here. It's because he's gonna hit everybody and he's gonna break shield. So, what needs to happen here? I think I might die. Because I don't think I've got the least amount of health. I think the Tornado does because he's only got 3,000. So he's going to get that bump in the heal. I'm the only one that's got, you know, the least amount of health. And I don't know if I can survive another hit, including this one, from... Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Although saying that, thank you to the Tornado Rex for going for the distraction. Could this be the one? Could we unlock Mortem Rex? We would need 100, though. And I, or a 75 or something like that. And I don't think we're going to get that. So here it comes. A nullified hit onto everybody. Unfortunately, because it's not Dealer Cheris, there is still a crit coming through. Now, this is the interesting part. Uh, I think Tornado Rex could have his heal back because he's done two moves. And I think that's what you need. So we're going to have Turmolic go for the speed boost. Hopefully, Tornado Rex going for the heal. And then I go for the, uh, I go for the uh, speed. So I kill the minions. Um, there we go. I think we survived. I think we're gonna do it. So turn five. I think the most I've or the fastest I've killed them on is turn seven. I think. Oh, somebody's crying. Why is somebody crying? We're we're, we're okay. I think, aren't we? I think we're okay. We got a heal coming through. A slow coming through. I've killed the minions. Um, I think we're all good. Yeah. Like here comes the heal. That's okay. Uh, and I do have 6,000 now. He's gonna hit everybody, but also cleanse himself. That's not too bad. I do get the crit, so I do a little bit more damage onto the Mortem. I think the fastest you can kill Mortem Rex is about 7. I think. I think if you put 30 boosts onto just these creatures, like somebody spent all their boosts on their Tornado, somebody spent all their boosts onto the Ardentus, you know, and like Tristornix or whatever it is, and the Tur Turamolok. I think there's a chance that you could kill it in six, I think. What do you mean so close? What do you mean? We're going to survive. Somebody else is going to heal as well. We're okay. <laughs> What's he thinking? He's obviously seeing a different game to what I'm seeing. Uh, so there it comes. Oh, look at those. Big hit, big hit, big hit. And then he's also doing a big hit. But we are getting the heal. So it's not too bad. So here there's the crit. 6,300 damage. In comes the heal. This is probably the best way to take on Mortem. So here's a little bit more health. Just 2,500. It really does depend how much damage. Whoa! 9,000 damage! And then another one coming through me. Hopefully I can also, too, get the crit. My 30% turns into God knows what. Another 7,000. And in comes the big hit. This is probably going to kill me. Oh, he doesn't get the crit. And I'm dead. Well, I did my job. I did my job. That was it. Um... I think the next thing I could do is just a little diddy hit. So you probably could kill him in turn seven. You probably could. Um, so now it's just targeting the boss. Um, I guess going for a speed boost still do. We've, we've, we've won it though at this point. We've definitely won it. So 3,000. Uh, a little hit coming in from this, but it'll probably be a crit. It isn't a crit. Oh, ooh. ooh, if that was a crit and this guy gets a crit, I think that could have finished him. Uh, there is the crit. Ooh, no. No, I don't think the crit would have given 2,000. So in comes a hit. Oh, Lord. Oh, he just survives. The Turmolek like, hangs in there, and it is going to be a turn eight. But it is definitely... I think we may have done it. I think in the past I've done it in seven turns. But it is definitely doable, especially if we just got a few more crits um, and maybe some of the creatures were more boosted in attack. Health doesn't need to be boosted anymore with this team, but attack, and you could have done it in seven. But really, does it matter? Just... Like, oh, so if he got the crit last time, that would have finished him. Atura Morlock is going to get the KO and down falls Mortem Rex. Wow, there you have it. I did die, but sacrifices had to be made. <laughs> Pretty much, I was going to do one more hit and then it would have finished in seven. But that couldn't have went any better than it just did. Mortem Rex taken out. Uh, let's see what we get. Fingers crossed. Come on. Come on. We're so close. Come on. A high. 50, 50, 50, 50, 20. Ay, ay, ay. But tell you what, that does mean if we get one more 50, we're done. We've almost got Mortem Rex. Wow. So much in this video. It's been a long one, guys. But wow. 
Whew, that was fun. Well, if you enjoyed this video, guys, uh, let me know in the comments what is your feedback or for Ludia, because I'm sure they'll read the comments. Uh, what do you think about the nerfs uh, to Adonis Maxwell and Trico? Do you think that they should have or they will refund people um, their boosts that they have put in? Because remember, people have spent money. They spent books, which is in real terms money uh, boosting these creatures and uh, the, the new bosses and the new creatures. Oh, so much to go over. Wow, it's been a fun episode. I've en I enjoy this. It's loads of fun. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.